was part of my traveling with your little monkey series that I thought I would do. I wanted to show you what I wear as kind of my general, and this varies a little bit, my general uniform for when I am traveling as a breastfeeding mama. And this has been a number of years now that I've traveled <laughs> as a breastfeeding mama. So it's, yeah, it's been four years that I've been traveling as a breastfeeding mom. And this is kind of my standard uniform that just seems to work for all sorts of temperatures. So let me show you. So this is what I generally wear. And I'll pick up the camera and show you. Um, I will wear a sweater or a fleece. It depends what time of year I'm traveling and what my trip's gonna be about. Is it more casual? Am I like, I feel like I should maybe present myself in a better light. Um, it's really easy, it's comfy. This is just a winter fleece. My mom gave it to me a couple of Christmases ago, maybe. Thanks, mom. This is a nursing tank. You've seen me wear it before. So they come down on both sides. Try not to flash you too much. Um, <laughs> Thanks Rose, thanks for that view. Needed that this morning. Um, so I can breastfeed really easily. Now, I like zippered clothing as a breastfeeding mom because I can zipper it up and down and keep my tummy warm, which is another reason I love breastfeeding shirts and tank tops is because I keep my tummy warm on airplane. My tummy folds don't have to fall out when I'm breastfeeding. And it's just a little bit more private and subdued when I can unsnap this but keep everything else button. Um, even if I'm wearing like a pullover sweater, which I frequently wear when traveling, I can lift that up, roll it up a little bit, unbutton this, or I use one of my breastfeeding shirts that has like a lift thing, a lift panel over here. And I think you've seen that in some of my style guides. Um, so I really think even if you never buy breastfeeding clothing, I was going to call them gear, I guess it's clothing, it's not really gear. Gear would be like pumps and stuff. Breastfeeding clothing, buy just one tank top to take with you. Um, traveling, at least for travel days, because it makes it so much easier. And it just makes you a little more confident. I feel like all of us mamas, you know, I'm four years into being a mama, and I still have things about my body that I'm not crazy about, and I like to, when I'm traveling, be comfortable, um, be cozy, and not have things hanging out, you know? I don't want, like, a shirt over my head, I don't want my belly sticking out, right? Um, I want to be able to breastfeed in public and I want to do that in comfort and in a way that, you know, I feel happy with. So I find that my, my outfit for traveling is actually really important. Maybe even more so than what I dress my son in for the day for how well our travel is going to go. So let me show you the head to toe look. Oh, la la. So stylish. underneath uh, for my my bottoms layer is I'll wear leggings and I love a good high-waisted pair of leggings um, good high-waisted pair of yoga pants something that's not falling down my bum off my bum when I'm bending down to grab bags and chase after kids and it's just a lot easier that way so I tend to wear you know gray or black leggings I'll wear a sweater or a zip up uh, fleece or hoodie and then um, something that's breastfeeding related as a tank top or a shirt. And that just makes it so much comfier. I am such a happier creature when I am comfortable flying. Um, so, you know, if you're feeling a little bit intimidated about flying with your baby or your breastfeeding child, um, you don't need to be. You just want to prepare a little bit and know that you want to have an outfit that makes you feel confident and comfortable breastfeeding all over and traveling. Because going to be carrying luggage, you're going to be pushing strollers, maybe hauling car seats around, carrying a kid or two around, right? You're going to have to be nursing them while you're grabbing all that stuff. You're going to be taking them here, taking them there, and you know, you're going to be sitting on a very uncomfortable plane. Because I don't know about you, but planes just keep getting more and more uncomfortable. How is that possible? I kind of thought the heat they hit peak uncomfortable, and then she's like, nerp, nerp. Now the, the bigger airlines are going with the budget airline style, and you're just like, Jesus, I need to bring my own pillow from a butt on this. 
I need to bring like a little neck rest or something. This is horrible. <laughs> so dressing well and having a good style that you're comfortable with and colors that you love. Maybe go with a, a fun floral, something that brightens up your day and makes you smile. That is a valuable thing indeed. So I hope that these are helpful style guides. Um, I know I don't do a ton of style on this channel. Let me know if you would like to see more of that. Um, I have started getting more into mommy style the further away from having a newborn I've gotten. Because to start out with, I was just in pajamas. I was so exhausted. And now I'm kind of like, well, you know, still breastfeeding, still being a mama, but I'd like to be a little bit more put together, at least a tiny bit. And that's valuable to me. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you would like to see more fabulous style guides for mamas. Uh, until next time, hey, check out my Instagram, because you can always follow along in there between videos. And as always, check out the links in my description box. Um, I link to all of my books that I write. I'm a novelist. I write romance books for ladies. My latest book is Man Her Station, a um, lovely sci-fi tale about a deep space station and the engineer that comes to save it and the three wonderful men on board that take her breath away. I know that's my promo voice. <laughs> You're like, whoa. And there is a, um, an audiobook that's going to come out of that sometime next year. But buy the ebook copy now, read it on your Kindle, and then boom, you can listen to it next year. <laughs> Until next time, thank you all so much for subscribing, being a part of this Wholesome Food family, giving these videos a little thumbs up if you love them. I love being a part of this community. It's a lovely thing to get to do. Until next time.